Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm meteorologist Casey Herman. As we take a look, we have a pretty good chance of seeing the aurora borealis tonight. KP index is 6, peak time 9 p.m. to 12, but unfortunately, skies will be mostly cloudy. Some areas, though, could get lucky. As you can see here, a lot of areas in the United States will be able to see it visible overhead tonight or even visible on the horizon goes pretty down midway down to the United States so something to look out for tonight but like I said if we do see those heavy cloud coverage like we do see here we'll moving it um, towards the south later on this evening uh, we won't see them the aurora borealis obviously but we do have a storm moving in rain and snow we are seeing rain and snow already moving in overnight tonight, starting in the northeast. Then we are seeing it move over to Haver and Cut Bank. Temperatures tonight right around freezing or above freezing, so any melting is going to continue to melt. 33 in Cut Bank, 29 in Lewistown, 32 in Glasgow. Tomorrow's forecast, we are going to continue to see chances of rain and snow showers throughout the state. As we look here, Sunday at 8 a.m., we are continuing to see a mixture of rain and snow and then kind of seeing it change over to snow later on in the afternoon for some areas. And then we are going to see that snow move into the Helena region later on tomorrow evening. So looking at our rain and snow forecast, most areas won't be seeing much snow or much rain. We could see um, Cut Bank about a half an inch of rain actually. So tenth of an inch in Helena, 0.4 tenths of an inch in Glasgow. But really the big concern is over the next few days is flood watch. So we have watches, warnings, and advisories of aerial flood watches warnings and advisories here. Looking at our aerial flood advisories, we could see minor flooding in the low-lying and poor drainage areas. Water over some roadways is possible as well, so definitely give yourself plenty of caution. If driving, don't drive through flooded roadways. It, it, turn around, don't drown. Now we also do have a flood watch for Muddy Creek near Vaughn in Cascade County, some minor flooding is also possible for the Sun River from the town of Sun River to the west side of Great Falls. We are seeing this because of an ice jam on Muddy Creek. And as of 3 p.m. today on Saturday, the main concern is immediately downstream of this ice jam from where Muddy Creek and the Sun River meet to the portion of the Sun River just south of the town of Sun Prairie. Now a sudden release of water is possible there through this evening, which could cause flooding along the river banks and into adjacent fields. So keep an eye on this area and brief be prepared to take action if necessary. Now we'll have your full forecast coming up at 10 p.m. tonight. We don't have a 5.30 forecast due to March Madness, but we'll keep you updated on all things on our website, on Facebook, and on our app.